Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. Now, last time I focused mostly on advancing our housing to great success. We went from having two large homes to now having 27, and many more on the way. But with great prosperity comes great opportunity, for the bandits, that is, that attacked us in the last episode, stealing 400 gold and killing several soldiers and innocent civilians along the way. So, as we look to the future, continuing this age of prosperity, we must also start to think seriously about defense. And that's what I plan to do for the next few episodes going forward. So, in between episodes, I basically just placed a few extra decorations just in some small spaces that I wanted to essentially pave. It's almost all just the paving and some trees and things like that. But then I've also commissioned the upgrade of several of our watchtowers. Once they're upgraded, we'll then position them outside of the gates. Some of these gates may actually move. We're gonna get serious about defense. Alright, let's let time play, but everything else is pretty good at the moment. You know, we're rocking 260. 59 people in total with how many? 205 are fit to work. So only two episodes, I want to say. Two episodes ago, I think. Oh god, the cart just went mental there. Uh, only about two episodes ago, we had 150 people. So only in the span of like three, four, maybe five years, we've now gotten 50 extra hands on deck. Um, so we've got, you know, in terms of resources and things, things are great. We're getting a little thin for planks, and that's mostly because of the amount that we've been spending on the upgrades. Of course, as these houses get their upgrades, they need resources, right? They have to be delivered, they, they have to be brought wood to actually get the upgrade done. So I, I was kind of amazed that 25 were upgraded in the hour of the last episode. Although I guess we did have time playing pretty fast at, at different points. Four new villagers have immigrated and three new have been born. I'm also slightly worried that long-term food might be a bit of a problem, so we are going to be building farms out here. We're currently got our cattle on the area to kind of help graze it. Can maybe spread this out a bit, it might help a tiny bit. And uh, the plan as we left off was to remove these orchards. So these are kind of being felled. The trees have been taken down and going to be loaded up in this cart. We're going to do the same on this side and then plant all new apple trees. So it's going to take quite a while for them to grow, but it's an investment. So we'll get, get to start, get to work on that really right now. In fact, um, this wall needs to change. Considering we've just been attacked, it's no worry. We don't have to worry immediately about defense. Obviously, I'm upgrading things, but it's not like we got to build, you know, have everything right now. We're good for a little while. So I'm just going to move this back in, tuck it in just a little bit extra. And then our road should be able to continue along this way, and we'll just continue having the wall on the outside yet again. I don't think anyone's going to rob these buildings or do anything to them. It's, they did seem to go for the smokers multiple times now, but they've never actually ever gone for farm buildings or anything like that. Um, which is weird. You'd think, actually, what would be quite a popular thing to do is run in and just steal cattle. How valuable that is. But um, in my other save file that I've been playing before, uh, that I streamed, we were playing on the hardest difficulty, and I had barns, and they were never touched, and they were, they were running past them to get into the town, uh, and it never happened. I'm almost at the part now in this game where I've never been as far as this. Um, pretty much, actually. I've never gotten to Tier 4, so that'll be all new stuff for me to see in terms of upgrades and things like that. Uh, and I've never built stone walls, so we're at the stage now where I've gone really as far as I've ever gone. So it's kind of new content for me from here on out. It's going to get rid of this bit as well. All right, good. So I'm just moving that back, and then we'll commission the building of quite a lot. And now we can straighten up this road. So we can actually just get rid of this road. Of course, it's not attached to anything anymore, which is nice. Maybe we'll even get rid of this one. It was a nice long road, though, but oh well. What we'll try to do is maybe curl this around and get it to attach. Ah, I suppose we'll have to just redo them to an extent. See where we can get this curve looking good. Damn, it looked good a second ago. Eh. Sorry that I'm so indecisive about it. It did a really nice kind of curve. And it's kind of gone now. Yeah, right around there. Right there. Keep it there. <laughs> I like that one. Alright, get rid of this. And then we'll just link those up. God, I'm so particular sometimes. Actually, we could just do that. Links it up that way. And then we could have a separate one that comes out and attaches across. Boom. All right, cool. So yeah, you got nothing to work on. I understand that. Miltran, oh, what a... He's an old guy now. Now, I meant to say before, when I say people are old and they're like 50, it's not that I think someone who's 50 is actually old. I just mean the portrait in game. They look kind of old. And also, for the time period, I guess, it's like, yeah, you're kind of old. Um, I think I said that before, but yeah, just in case anyone misinterpreted that, I saw some comments before people being like, oh, you know, I'm getting 
getting up there in age, getting kind of close to 50, or maybe I'm, I'm sure some people are beyond it. Don't like me saying that they're old. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think I told someone, I replied to one of them saying, like, oh, I kind of consider old to be 70 and above. That's what I would consider it. So I'm sorry. If you're 70 and over, I think... I think you gotta just face up to the fact that you're old. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. All right, let's uh, get this road to go along this way as well. Ah, there's a little bit of a fence block in this area too. Cool. Can I drag this out? I can. Nice, all right. So this should be kind of in line with the other one now across the way. And I want to do a big harvest over here to make room for other orchards in the future, so while our cart is up here. So let's just go with all apples. Three. I think six by six seems to work for me. Yeah. Villagers stricken with cholera. Yeah, so I was looking at cholera in between episodes. It seems to be to do with um, unclean water. Now, we've got wells all over the place, and they're upgraded. So I'm really surprised about that. Like, they shouldn't be drinking well water or having your water go off. So I'll just read it, actually. Uh, it's an infection spread through contaminated water that causes violent vomiting and diarrhea. So I'm not really too sure what I can do to help that, other than just, like, we've got so many wells, and loads of them are full. It's just, like... I think maybe more out where the work areas are. That could be what's happening. All right, we just need to plant two more once that one is taken down. So my original idea was to have an arborist looking after like apple trees, which take much longer. And then also looking after something like pear trees, which don't take as long. And then flipping the radius around when they want to collect different things. Don't think that would really work and it's a bit micro-y for me personally. Knowing me, I'll just forget, you know, and I'll have the radius on the wrong thing. So I'll probably just build multiple arborists that go out and out as time goes on. So this one's just going to be apples long long term. Miltron can plant many trees, um, the shade of which he will never sit in, <laughs> most likely. <laughs> um, but these ones, maybe we'll keep them as peaches or something, just replant them and something. And that way we'll have two at least. And then, again, like I said, just get more on the go. Uh, kind of further out this way and up up around that way. All right, so we've cre created that gap. Let's just plant another one. Boom. And boop. Great. Good stuff. So let's just move the circle now. That should ensnare all of these. And to make the place look a little bit nicer, we could have that fence going around then. Impending blizzard. All right. Last time we were attacked, it said impending heat wave. I don't know if that happened or not. Cool. All right, great. Looks good. Let them do their thing. Whoa. How is everything else going? So temperatures are dropping as severe weather, winter, sorry, storm approaches. Hopefully your town is well stocked with firewood as colder temperatures require villagers to burn more wood. Oh yeah. We have 168, I think we're okay. Heavy snow can cause damage to buildings. Oh, really? I haven't seen that before, or noticed it. How's this area looking down here? The drop in fruit outside the um, market. I actually have been meaning to get other wagons up and running because I feel like they're always busy. Two people driving their wagons. What about down here? Both driving. So I'd, li I'd actually like it if one of them just said idle, so then I know. What the hell was that? Oh, the tower is trying to kill the deer. Oh, no, it's not. It's the hunter. It's Deming. After he killed that bear. What a hero. Son of Sir Torius. <laughs> How far are we in? 22 years? I was going to say maybe grandson, but probably not. All right, looking good. Looking good. So we have our pres preservist up and running. I'll put more people onto it as time goes on. I actually increased and put one extra person on the glass maker because I didn't know this um, until I had a quick look that these homes actually require either glass or furniture so some sort of luxury items the more luxury items you give the more money you make so some of the glass that we're making that's obviously going to the preser preservist preservist is going to be eaten up now hey they actually just got glass it's going to be eaten up by these houses yeah um, 
So that's all well and good, it just means that we need a lot more than I initially thought, because I thought it was just going to be for the Preservist. Uh, let's upgrade these roads as well, they ain't changing anymore. It's a lot of stone, gotta be waiting for those traders to come by now. Oh, also, these trees now have seven, so it did reach full maturity. Seemed to take five years in total. But, you know, after three years, they got quite a lot of wood. Uh, I think it was like four or five pretty quickly. So you don't really have to wait for that extra little bit as much, I don't think. That being said, this is all this all inf all this information is kind of redundant because they actually mentioned in a recent um, early access post about one of the next updates and future updates that they don't want people doing this, planting trees to get wood. They want to increase the yield of wood that you get and also increase the sort of um, regeneration of trees that work camps are working next to. I think they said work camps can have four people. And I think they said something along the lines of two people in a work camp chopping trees should just maintain itself forever. Like they'll just plant at the same rate they cut. Whereas if you have three or four, you'll cut down more than you need. Now, that's not the way it is in the game right now, but apparently that's what's coming in the future. So you won't have to do this. Although I still imagine that this is going to be a pretty optimal, a pretty fast way of doing it. I shouldn't say optimal, pretty fast way of doing it. Um, unless they nerf the growth rate of decorations or maybe the amount you get back from them. I'm liking this area, by the way. Now we've upgraded the market. So our little uh, paved area looks good. We could actually take out a little slot of it and put in a statue. That might look nice. If people wouldn't be against that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm not going to do that right now, but I just want to put in more decorations here and just fill that area up. So it looks like it's all one big paved area. It's kind of grid-like, but we, we get the idea. And then I'm doing the same over here. We're attaching it so it all kind of looks like a paved, more built-up looking area. And then with trees lining the road all the way into the theater. All right, so how are we doing for animals? If we check really quickly, we've got 10 cows, 10 cows. So we've got 10 out of 10. 500 meat last year, none in this one last year. So we'll have a look in the spring, see what kind of happens, how many we get. Might be worth upgrading these ones. You can hold more, and I might bump this up next year to herd 11 or herd, herd 12. And maybe then we can try to make another barn and see how they get on, because I feel like we're going to need to expand the meat industry. I do hope, I, I don't think they said anything, but I hope that um, we get to see like pigs and chickens and stuff. Don't know how they'd be worked into gameplay, but it'd be quite fun, I think, to have different animals. Maybe you need to rely on some different things. You can get eggs, after all, so... Makes sense to be able to bring it in-house. Temporary shelter. Oh, there you go. So yeah, during these heavy storms and blizzards, people will occupy the heavy shelters instead of coming home. These two must be brothers. Mohan and Dunwald. Brumont out there. What's he transporting? Nothing at the moment. He's probably bringing back some iron though. Seems to be doing that quite a bit. Or oh, he's getting some gold. Alrighty. Looking good. We got waste that can be used in here. Is this the one I already just did? I think so. That's pending compost. This one is now as well. Oh no. Cool. Two at a time. Everything's coming up Millhouse. I'm just trying to think what to do then for expansion. I mean, ultimately, I'm waiting for traders so that we can trade for stone and then start upgrading some stone walls. And also waiting for the... Like, we should be making iron. I might actually just turn off this for a little bit. I think we're probably pretty good. So let's turn off this building, let them go free for a while. Maybe even get another blacksmith forge because I feel like we've got more ore than we know what to do with. Let me just double check on that. 75 iron. That is a lot. Not very as much gold, though. So let's get another foundry and make it for, specifically, just another one for iron. Might have to reorganize this area then at some point as well. Oh man, it's so quiet now. All is quiet. And then we're going to need a few extra defenses also. Every time we've been attacked, it's always come from this direction. That doesn't mean it's always going to happen that way, but it might do. It would be good to get the extra little berry bushes if we could find some just to fill out this area. I keep looking at that and thinking like, oh man, we could do a little bit better there. Just a little bit. There's some waste that needs to be collected in the brewery. Oh no, sorry, it's just outside. I was like, what? 
It's interesting how few people we have on that brewery. You can have up to six, and we've supplied more than enough beer for ourselves with just the one. I suppose that might be because we've only got the one pub. We don't have pubs over here. I did say that we'd give them some, so it might be worth moving two of these houses out a bit further, because I do also plan to expand out this way eventually. It would be nice. Like, this is all lake. We don't have to worry about that. So if we cut the wall across this way and up, there's actually less surface area that we could be attacked from. Um, so that might make sense. <laughs> How's the glass doing? Stocking the glass maker. Let's have a look. How did we do last year? 30 glass. Heavy tools, sand. They don't have any coal in there right now. 48 coal was produced. What's the rate that we use both? 1 to 4. Okay, so we made a hunt. That's that's fine. That's more coal than we need. 48, though, means that this is already almost running out. Sybil. All right, how's the orchard coming along? It looks like it's pretty much done. It's all planted. The fence is just going in now. Yeah, so I'm just going to, um, I guess, just, I'm torn between whether... I suppose if I know I'm going to expand down here, let's send this... I was going to say truck all the way down here. We'll give them a nice big harvest order all out here. Uh, they can leave some of the bushes and stuff. I think that's okay. Some of the wilding next to the lake I think is fine. It's just mostly the trees and crap in here needs to go. And then, yeah, we can have the wall come straight out across. So we'll let them get busy with that. Speed up time. And we'll just keep focusing on these different upgrades. So that tower needs 10 more iron, I think. That one needs 10 iron and 4 stone. And that might be it, is it? Do we only have 3 towers? Wow. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Alright, let's move this one then. We'll move it just around... Um, yeah, just about there, I guess. Protects our buildings. Also protects the gateway. And then we'll have another one up here doing the same. We'll basically have to cut this area down as well. We're doing well for wood. Oh, the trader's here now. Alright, let's have a look. Hey, they're buying cheese. Let's sell some cheese. We have so much of it. It's crazy. Wow. wow. Cheese is OP. Holy crap. The amount we make, it stays, it preserves for such a long time. And then you can sell it for so much. And this is the average price. God damn. Alright, we are making absolute bank now. So, now that we're making that, should we just straight up get by like plate mail and heavy weapons maybe what do we need for this three and a half thousand and a hundred planks we need so much more iron than i'll ever be able to unless i could just buy some hmm they are selling iron could buy how much would a hundred be dude i can't believe cheese is cheese more valuable than iron it's actually not but this is um this is pretty good. <laughs> I might do that. Let's um let's transfer in even more. 800. Let's see how much we can get out of this guy. 500, I guess is the most Cardrell. 69 days. Yeah, I reckon um I reckon we just just buy some iron to speed up the whole process of this and then get ourselves to tier 4 cuz why not? How can you ignore that? How can you not do that? Now we do need planks. Desperately low on planks. We do have an improved sawmill here, and this one could be upgraded if we had more iron. They're working away, are they? No. Let's get them in there. So what's the situation? Profession-wise, only three people are actually actively building, and we've got 44 laborers. Well, hmm. Well, the laborers are going to be all out here, aren't they? Yeah. Cutting trees and the like. Cholera again. So where's that, um, where's the cart? I actually don't see it. Oh, it's on its way. It's almost there. Cool. Yeah, food, food is getting a little bit low. It's a bit of a worry. We definitely need to start working on that um, farm. And we've kind of increased fertility a little bit. Not to the best amount. The building is supporting a herd that's far too large. Fetching rogue livestock. Oh, that they've run out. I guess, oh, maybe they do need fences and stuff then, because I've seen them be totally fine with that. So you can close fetching road. Although if bears come by, I think that's what happens. Then they run. That could be the problem. Oh, we'll, we'll give them um, stuff like that then. I'm going to say herd size can go up to 11 here. And herd size here can go up to 11. That's why food is low. We haven't culled the herd in a while. 
So I don't, I don't know if it's crazy, but I'm tempted to remove the hunter building altogether. I'll just put it out here temporarily. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with it. Go with my gut and just say forget it. 350 meat last year. It was something, but we're gonna build another barn. We're gonna have a bigger farm. We'll have more people on food. It's just gonna take a little while. Slightly risky. Slightly risky. Some would say unnecessarily risky, right? Like, why bother doing that? <laughs> and I don't have an answer for you. It's just what I'm gonna do. Another trader's on his way in. He's gonna be buying cheese at, like, an increased rate or something. Something unbelievable. Alright, the other trader is... buying pots or pottery, but at a low price. Buying soap. Soap, we do seem to be kind of low on it. Alright, what can we buy from them? Again, iron at 13 apiece. Stone at eight apiece. Yeah, I'd like to do that. It's Atka. Oh, the Iron Clan. All right, so back to you. I know you love your cheese. I'll sell that. There we go. So we're up to 4,202. And then I'm just going to buy basically, I don't know, maybe 200 iron. Buy and transfer, please. And then with that money, we'll just sell more cheese. Cheese feels like a hack. That's unbelievable. I just don't think it spoils very quickly, so it's so it's worth its weight in gold. <laughs> um, all right, good. Dude, I can't believe that, man. All right. I wonder how much is consumed. You know, it just seems like we've got so much. Um, heavy weapons. <laughs> Make our guys tanks. I have three. I've got three thousand in the trader, but I've got three thousand in the bank as well. So we could spend all of this money. Now I know I want at least ten. Buy in stock. It's an average price, so I'm happy to do it. Sorry, buy in transfer, really. Global. Sorry, global storage. There we go. All right. So with all of that iron, let's increase this. We should be basically ready to upgrade this once we make a few more planks. We've got everything we need. And the rest of the iron will obviously be scattered around to the various other places that need it. Um, so you're going to be making iron as well. Forget the gold. And hopefully the charcoal kiln and everything is able to supply this area. Um, let me just do another quick once over on the trader. Make sure I didn't miss anything from Atka. So Atka, crude weapons. Oh yeah, stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how much money did we need out here? Three five hundred. Well, we've got that, so I really can't take any more. Wouldn't mind buying just a little bit. It's kind of stone comes by fairly rarely. I feel like, dude, we've got even more cheese. I can't get over the cheese. Look, if we got the time, throw some more in there. Let's sell a bit more cheese, make the money, and buy it, turn it into stone. Quite literally. Well, quite figuratively, I suppose. All right. Just wait for that to be delivered. Cariolus, he's still there. He's been there since the beginning of the game. First person we put into the trader was Cariolus, and he's still there. 21 days left to go. Deliver that cheese, man. 770 gold now. She's going to be here a bit longer, right? And we're buying the stone. She's selling stone at 8. Are you selling stone at all? No. That's okay. Let's just follow. Actually, if we do this, we can see what he's carrying. He's carrying 240 cheese. What a man. Boom. There you go. God. Oh, my God. I can't get over it. Cheese is crazy. <laughs> I've only got one person in the cheese maker as well. Can you imagine? The, the livestock trade is going to be insane. We should invest everything we have into those um, barns. All right. Thanks for your pleasure doing business. Let's get um, Atka. Let's give her all the money for stone. Ah, oh, we can buy all their stone. Buy and transfer, please. 233. Excellent. All right, great. Great trades. Glad I checked it again. This is now ready. Shall we do it? I mean, I don't see why the hell not. Tier 3. I've never seen it to Tier 4. Going to activate it, prioritize it, up the priority of everything. That's 100 iron bars. 3,500 gold, which I think is just sitting in the vault. Most of it is. And, um... 150 bricks, a lot of manpower, and that's going to allow us to get houses that turn into what I believe are called manors, 
And I've just seen them in the screenshots for the game. I've never seen them in-game myself. I've seen them on the uh, Steam page. Not that I'm trying to rush them this episode, but... Because I don't even think we're fulfilling the... Yeah, we need more um, of a lot of stuff. Like uh, desirability and furniture or glassware, whatever. So how's the food situation? Did you find those extra cows? <laughs> Fetching rogue livestock. I don't know, man. You don't look like you're fetching rogue livestock to me. I'm a bit worried about that. How's the... Are they in the settlement? Oh, they might be. Let's just, in case they are... Oh, there is cows in here. Yeah, okay, let's get rid of the fence again. Let's make sure they're outside. I don't know why they came back in. Because I thought we, um... I thought I put the grazing outside in the last episode. Right, we'll bring them back out. Everything will be fine. Oh, look at the little baby one. All right, great. New villager born. Looking good. All right, everyone's back outside now. Good thing we caught that. I wonder what the gate open on the far side of the town, whether they've gone all the way around. I'll leave that open. There's another little baby one trickling out. <laughs> we'll leave that open for a little bit. But yeah, upgrades need to be done. So that stone, the reason I'm purchasing stone is because obviously we're very limited on this map with it. But also we want to start improving it to make um, stone walls. So what we could do, bit by bit, is just go like this. And then click upgrade. So that's 76 stone and 8 wood logs. Just go upgrade and just go section by section so we can make sure we get it done uh, without them just supplying everything slowly over time. 133 bricks is still needed. We have 153 in global storage. There's obviously bricks over here. Now they succumbed to illness. Typhoid. Damn. Yeah, we got to invest in medicine as well. I did invest in doctors, in fairness. <laughs> Excuse me, but um, not good enough. Villager's sick. Typhoid, an infection that arises from uncleanliness. It can be spread among villagers. Oh no. Oh, she's out there where the other guy died. Yeah, so soap and stuff. So where do we make that? It's somewhere over here, right there, I think. The rendering works, is it? Yeah, soap. The soap maker renders tallow in and herbs. Just get more people on that. Hopefully that will increase the rate. So we need herbs, tallow, and firewood. So herbs, we've got 91 in global storage. Tallow, we have 172, so we've got plenty. Uh, obviously going to be demanding more firewood now, but still. It seems like we can increase the production of that. So what is the global rate that we have of soap? Yeah, I'm not seeing any in storage. That means it's all in houses, and it's probably under, con like, uh, over-consumed. If we have a look at, um... Nope, this one, is it? Town info? Villager? What am I looking for? Oh, sorry, I'm looking for the statistics top left. Food production, goods and material production, usable goods, soap, produced 45, consumed 45. So I don't know what their consumption rate is, I just know I'm fully consuming it. So we need more. How's that working out for you, by the way? You made 10 crossbows last year, goddamn. Well, oh, thank you very much. What do we got? Oh, look at this, they're all with their heavy weapons, or almost all with them. Nice to see. We need some plate mail, though. We could buy. We could have bought some before. We could also make some if we get to tier 4. Which we're doing at the moment. Cool. Glad to see. Um, we could probably ease up now and maybe make some arrows again. We can even amount of everything. 34 bricks left to go. Looking forward to seeing this. Never seen a tier 4 town hall. Should be very nice. 12 bricks to go. Almost done. Got to do a cleanup of this industry area. That tower is going to have very poor visibility. <laughs> it's a shame we don't have a hill or anything. Yeah, so we're going to have to start making another one. So let's go walls and defenses. Defenses. So that tower is right there. We could put another one, again, just to cover our bases on the wall. Something like that. Right next to the, uh, the cemetery. Of course, we can't move the cemetery. Here would be pretty good. There'd be a little vulnerable point in the middle there where we might not be able to hit anything. But as they come through, they get hit. Actually, as we upgrade this tower, it'll be covered. So yeah, I'll go with I'll go with here. At least that gate is covered and this section of the wall is covered. So this tower, does this need to move? We could get closer to the wall. Yeah. And this one as well is covering both of these gates. So that's okay by me. 
All right, we'll leave it as is. Have we got our first bit of stone down yet? There we go. We can see it's starting to be upgraded now. Nice. Good thing is a lot of our stone is located over here now. And how's my section looking? Does it look kind of natural-ish? Kind of. Doesn't look very even. Could I? F I don't know how flattening is going to work on this area, but we could try. Flatten it, please. Good luck with that. Hope it doesn't ruin it. 50 bricks are needed down here at the sawmill, which we're upgrading. This has priority, so it should go. Everything should go to that. Alrighty, how are we looking? Year 23, 268 people, 1,000 wood in the bank, 343 firewood, 85 planks, 300 stone. We're getting low on clay. Maybe it's time to um, invest in gathering more ore. How many extra people do we have now not doing anything? 27 laborers, 18 currently building. That's okay by me. But yeah, want to invest in more. They are still fetching the rogue livestock. A bit yeah, I'm a bit worried about that. I don't know if there was just another bear recently or something. We did get rid of the hunter, so it might be an issue. Stock is full here, so they killed... They got a thousand meat. Okay. Food loss to spoilage. Some vegetables, not too bad. Okay. And how's the harvest going down here? Still a lot to do. Damn, that last little bit of um, clay is taking a while. The bricks, I should say, to deliver in there. She's just staring at it, like, wondering if she's going to make it to see it finally get done. Typhoid, typhoid, typhoid. Well, we'll clean up the typhoid with the extra soap. I'm hoping that it gets distributed uh, correctly. And the cleanliness, we've upgraded a lot of wells. 7 bricks left to go. <laughs> Alright, just a little bit of manpower left on this. I'll be interested to see how it flattens. There we go. Oh my god, the road. Come on, fix itself. Fix. You can do it, road. Damn. Yes, it did it. Excellent. Yeah, it looks a little bit better, actually. Smallpox now. Uh-oh, that's not good. Highly infectious disease that begins with fever, malaise, and vomiting. Then lesions over the skin. Death rates high. A healer can help contain the spread by isolating the infected. Get back immediately. Seeking medicine. Oh my god, his clothes are broken. Yeah, okay, there's a few issues, obviously. Oh my god. Damn, and oh, the second... Oh my god, the sicknesses. Typhoid. Another Wainwright, another wagon driver. Dead. Oh my days. Oh yeah, well, obviously because of the raid. 18. Up to nearly 20 now in that graveyard. Yeesh. Um, hmm... Well, let's select the um, wagon buildings, just get someone back on that. Crap, I had something in mind and I just it just escaped me. Something to do with medicine, I can't remember what I was going to do. They've got cheese in storage at the, at the doctor's office. <laughs> yeah, I know I need to do something about that. I need to think about it. Ah, shit. Typhoid, typhoid, typhoid. I'm hoping that the soap kind of fixes the typhoid problem. Smallpox? Don't know what you can do about that. Other than just keep people getting to a doctor, which we've done. We've got a hospital. Plenty of room for patients. He's in there now. He's on his way. Crap, I was going to do something. I'm so sorry about it. I just don't remember what I was thinking of. I should have said it out loud. Food stocks are low, my lord. Mm -hmm. I might put more people on this because we're getting very low on clay, actually. Yeah, it might be time to start putting down that farm. Getting a little bit, little bit worried, a little bit anxious now about the uh, food situation. Could always buy some if it gets desperate next year, but um, so farm. Let's say there's a gate there. I think a 12 by 12 is as big as you can go. That's seven workers, so I'll just do that. People were saying like, oh, keep a 10 by 10, that's the same size as the grazing size that keeps it more fertile, but I, I don't mind. It's fine. All right, that's a big development. That's gonna take a while to get done. Everything has to be de-weeded, flattened, all of that stuff. It's gonna be fallow for a couple of years. 
I'll probably get another one on the go as soon as that one's done as well. I'm mostly waiting on this tier 4 building. I just want to see it. Our stone wall is almost done, though. Did this ever get told to be upgraded? I'm not sure. Uh, seems like it did. I can't even click it. I don't know why. It's a build site. Okay, yeah, good, good. At least the most vulnerable part of the town is now a little bit more protected. 48 stone. That should be fine. Villager cured. Okay. Oh, that's probably what I was going to do. Build a medicine building. Yeah. I'm sorry if you're screaming that because I think that's what I was planning on doing. So is it a... It might be a service building. Um, let's see. Rat catcher. We've got the school. The healer's house. Pub. Apothecary shop. That's the one. Requires honey, med medicinal roots, and willow. Produces medicine. Yeah, maybe stick that somewhere out this way. Is it? How's its desirability? It's actually a service, so... But it doesn't... Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll get that built. I might end up moving it a bit later. Maybe somewhere nearer to the doctors or something. I don't know. And actually, there's medicinal roots and wheat and stuff over there, so... Probably the best place for it, thinking about it, will be near to, near to that. Although not really, because they don't go out and gather it. Yeah, people just bring it there. Okay. Alright, so they're lacking bows and arrows and all of that. It's just because it's just moved, I think. Come on, man. Put your two bricks in. Finish the building. One to go. God, there's so many people so busy. <laughs> night soil collectors. Are they all night soil collectors? No. Very different carts. You don't want to get those carts mixed up. God. Yeah, we're just down to five bricks. Good thing we have the six brick makers. They're just working overtime in there. Put a priority on that area too. So I'm going to say forget the gathering this. This is not a priority really anymore. Just leave it. All those materials, that's great and everything, but really want you to get to the farms. Food is a bigger concern. It, I mean, we're always hovering around three or four, but I know that we've taken in like 40 people. So I'm just a little bit nervous about that. Because um, it might only take like one bad winter to go down to zero, and then maybe some people might starve. It's just a pre precautionary thing. And also we took a hunter offline, that kind of thing. So you just gotta, gotta be careful. We're still not making any extra heavy weapons, regular weapons, or, uh, sorry, heavy tools, regular weapons, or tools at the moment. I think we've got plenty in storage. Oh, by the way, this is just about done. Six manpower left to go. Yeah, we've got 14 weapons, 10 of them crude, 89 bows, 1,000 arrows. Okay, you know what? Forget the Fletcher building. You guys are doing too much. Keep getting your, um, keep doing the uh, crossbows, I guess. Maybe you could sell them. But after a while, I wanted to save up some of those, some of the iron that we make. And there we go. Oh my god, it looks awesome. No idea we're going to get the cool, like, um, terracotta-style roof or whatever. Or just that kind of, I don't know what you call it, but that kind of color looks awesome. So cool. And there we go. Tier 4. Our first Tier 4 building, of course. Looking damned fine. Don't know if we get more defense out of it as well. Hopefully. Overall happiness, 96%. Zero villagers are sick, that's good. Zero are bedridden. There is an outbreak of smallpox though, there has been. Overall, ah, that's what it was. It was clothing. It was, it was clothing. I wanted to make sure flax was in the rotation. So, you made 19 last year. Yeah, look, let's get some more of you in. I know, I'm not sure how many flax we've got in storage. It does spoil, 265. We're just not making enough clothes. Because I was wondering if like, they got smallpox. It's like, oh, is it? Also, partially because the one who who uh, ca um, captured it, the one who caught smallpox, he wasn't—he had broken clothes or like worn clothes. So now, hopefully, hopefully, I don't know if that makes a difference, but you know, it should. So hopefully, it does. All right, our cart is making its way back up. Man, I feel so good now that I got that out of my mind. <laughs> whatever that was. All right, we're up to 274. We're really pushing it now to 300. 300 is, I think, where I'm going to leave it. I know people have had cities up to four, five hundred. Um, I think the biggest I've gone is 350. I don't know if we need to go more than 300, though. Uh, you know. Because your house, you, as you get bigger houses, you get more s space in them. So even with just the houses we have right now, we're going to fill up a bit. Now, I wouldn't mind having some extra houses out this way. But after that, I feel like it's just barns and farms and we'll sustain ourselves. 
and then we'll start draining the map for resources, basically. There won't be very much left. There's only 140 coal left. And, um, we'll have to trade for everything. We'll have to just always make sure we're per using our gold effectively to purchase in raw materials and then trade, sell them for more than we kind of purchase them for. Although we will always be making gold indefinitely, not only because of our ore resources, but just the houses paying their taxes. All right, nice. Well, I guess we could just focus up on the wall again. And probably get back to that other side of the orchard now. So that's another 60 stone. There's not much more I can do after that. I feel like we'll need to keep the rest of the stone in reserve and just wait for the next purchase. Seventy-four fertility. What's this one? Seventy-two. Fifty-five, and they have wheat leaf blotch. Wheat and rise effect. Rise effective. That's okay. Next year, we're de-weeding and we're increasing fertility. Weeds are so low. Let's just go with fertility instead. Just space it out a bit. So that's fine. Next is a little bit of fertility, and then wheat. Next is de-weeding and leeks. Doesn't really need to be de-weeded, but sure, why not? Clover can add weeds, so I suppose it's not that bad. This one does need to be de-weeded, though. So I'd say next year... Let's do this. Not next year, but eventually. It'll take a while to get there, but the weeds will be removed eventually. That's alright. Cool. Alright, so how far... How much progress did we make on this? Doesn't say... We'll have to wait until the winter is past. Firewood's getting low. Dangerously low, some may say. We're chopping like crazy in here, though. As the industry grows, so too does the demand for logs and the, the demand for firewood with various forge buildings. These require coal, actually. I guess it's not that bad, but the um, other buildings we put down out here do. So cheese, we only had two people making cheese. I wonder, does, have I ever had any of my milk spoiled? They're unable to work. I feel like we only need one person in there. Flax, that's fine. And then down here, this takes firewood for the preservist. Preservist. Why do they need, oh, I, yeah, why do they need firewood? To put, all they have to do is put fruit into a jar. To preserve and jar them in glassware. I don't see a reason that you need firewood. It makes sense that the glassmaker does, but they actually use coal because they're heavy industry. Okay, well. Did you just throw your glass down here? No, you can actually see it. Just one. Uh, okay, so I've been taking a while. What I'm going to do is get the other wagon service. Is that storage? Storage building. There it is there. And then they'll go around the, uh, the place as well. Quite like the look of this area. We've got a, a nice like mini industry here that doesn't affect desirability. And this place is obviously... Sorry, that wasn't the wrong thing. <laughs> desirability is here. And then a massive dead patch of desirability here. Nobody wants to be out here. Let's see what we can do to stock the trader now as we're coming up to the end of the year. So 14 weapons. Mm, I don't want to put any more. We'll keep our weapons, I think. Same with the honey. I even think honey's fine because we'll start using it for medicine. Uh, we do have a lot of pelts. Again, pelts don't go off or anything, so I'll keep them. Maybe some baskets. Why not? 20 baskets, some pots, we're always doing great to send in the pottery, 50 pottery. We've got a lot of uh, iron, which is good, obviously we purchased a lot, so we just still have a lot in reserve for upgrades and the like. Cheese, maybe 100 cheese, you never know. Alright, good. Yeah, I think this area is actually looking pretty good now, I'm kind of happy with how it came along. Um, could do stuff with this little patch here. We could just make the whole thing look like it's all part of one big plaza, but it would be maybe nicer to have some trees dotted around, I think. Tend to go with the maple. Yeah, firewood's low. I don't know if I should build another firewood building, or I'm just kind of I'm kind of relying on them to just produce enough. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea or not. The reason I have them far back is because, you know, we should have pretty good coverage of the wall here. Not fully optimal coverage. I guess if it was right up, we'd have the whole 
you know, half of the circle on it. Um, but it should be able to hit anything that's, like, engaging with the wall. And then as they run in, if they have any run by or they're running out or whatever, I just feel like it's good to aim into the town as well. Alright, let's upgrade this one because we know that it's going to be needed. That one's already upgraded. This one's covering that two er those two areas there. I suppose we could have maybe one down here. Would that be weird? Maybe right there, a little... Whoops. Little lookout. I know it's a bit strange to be so over the lake. <laughs> um, hmm. But I just don't really know of any other place that we could... Oh, right there, maybe. And when it's upgraded, it should get range of the other gate. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, cool. Alright, so the next orchard, I think, will be the next thing to start taking apart as they probably become quite lifeless at this point. 59%. Actually, not that bad still. Maybe I'll leave them for a little longer. These are going to take tree maturities at 5%. Oh my god, it takes so long. Livestock animal born, good to see. I reckon, actually, with the money we have, I'll just buy cows rather than trying to save them up and transfer them. That way our food production rate stays the same. Another trader coming in now. So, interestingly as well, now that we're tier 4, we can also upgrade some of these buildings. We just need more bricks. So bricks and we can get a foundry that will have additional workers, item production speed is increased, and fewer items are consumed during production. If that counts coal, that'd be excellent, because um, I feel like that's a big issue. So coal is probably getting a bit low, because we've only got the one charcoal kiln. Oh, yeah, I think we do need another, another firewood splitter then, at least one. I'm going to move these, but we'll just put two of them now, down for now. This area is going to be redone. We'll make it much more, um, I just, I just organized, but it's going to take a little while. I want to clear those trees out and then we'll do it. Good to see the wall coming along nicely. Just do a tiny last little bit of an upgrade here just to complete that section. So the entire east facing wall is now a full proper wall. We could then, once this area is reorganized, I'll put another gate in somewhere over there. Alright, let's check that trader. We have Masuk the Silver Tongue, selling spices, which I don't even know what you- I'm guessing the manor houses use that. Could buy glass really cheaply, it could also buy preserves. Hmm. Interesting stuff he's got. He's purchasing from us the possibility of three weapons, some cheese. Oh, bad prices though. Not really into selling stuff at such a bad price. I've got, th oh right, someone did mess it, uh, like several episodes ago, someone was like, oh, you've got, you've got plate mail in your inventory, and I remember checking plate mail, I was like, no, I don't, but it must have been Hallbergs. Yeah, I must have bought them at some point and never distributed them. Well, now I see them. <laughs> yeah, let's give them, send them in. He would buy them for 300 a piece, but I'm sure we probably paid more for that, so that's okay. Just transfer them in to our global stock and let them get distributed. So that would be something nice to make, but we have to upgrade our... this building so that we can produce extra... Is it, I think, Blacksmith Forge? Oh no, it's a whole different building. Oh my god, I've totally forgotten, actually. Defenses. No, resources. There's an armory building. That's something we've never built. Furniture workshop, brewery. Is the armory... Ah, there it is. Pelts, wood, wood planks, that is, iron and coal. And we can make shields and hauberks. Yeah, get that in there. <laughs> get that in there. Alright, we'll start production of that. No one's gonna mess with us anymore. We're gonna have shields, hauberks, heavy weapons, towers. We're gonna be totally ready. I mean, the ultimate goal would be to not even see them get beyond the walls, right? And, you know, in future, we might even have two barracks. Dare I say. 75 bricks to upgrade this one. Extra people... Increased durability, increased range, and attack range. What the hell is this? Oh my god, are we getting our first, um... We are! We're getting our first manor! Oh my god! I didn't expect it, I just didn't think I was doing it. There we go! Da -da -da. <laughs> awesome! Holy shit, I had no idea. I didn't think we were gonna get- we were even close to getting them. I guess some of our houses had that and we have glass. You only need one of, you don't need the furniture as well. I didn't even think of that though. Three food types, man. Look at you guys. No wonder we're low on clay. It keeps getting added to these. Boom. First manor house done. Up to six people can live here. 
Excellent. Nice big stately home kind of thing. And how much is this making now? 32 income. Love to see it. 62 and 46. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Let's check the trader. Hmm. He is selling iron, actually, at a really low price. <laughs> Tempting. <laughs> but no, I'd really rather buy coal and stone. Those are the two things that are very difficult for me to come across. No, the trader's on his way in, though. Maybe we'll just load up with some uh, gold. How's that farm coming along? We're about halfway done. Hey, where are you going? Oh! <laughs> they take the road down to here. That's funny. They have no problem going through that gate. God damn. And then they just walk out, do they? Well, I gotta seal this. And if they come inside again, that'll be really annoying. Look where they were going. Oh, I guess I need to make a little road that goes down to them. Hmm. I've already built this farm touching the wall here. Well, I guess I could just remove the wall. Yeah, I suppose that would work. And build a new wall out further out. I like these being on the ex the outside of the settlement, though. Hmm. They seem to walk over nicely. They don't mind. But this one's just a bit too far, I guess. Now, obviously, you could just... I guess if that's where it's going to be, have a road come straight down, right? Let's get rid of that, actually, just really quickly. Oops. Because um, I feel like it'll probably have to... It, it won't link in if I don't do it this way. Oh, I would have linked into the wrong area, too. All right, cool. All right, good. And then they can just graze in here in future once that place is done. So one of the traders is leaving. The other one is here. Score of the Butcher. I know him well. He's got pelts. He's looking to sell some crossbows, tallow, wood, clay. Nah. No stone, unfortunately. So he's willing to buy our beer, our iron, weapons, and some clothes and herbs. Unfortunately, nothing really that I'm interested in. Scorv. We've actually got 100 tallow just sitting in the inventory, too. Alright, let's upgrade this road to be um, stone road as well now. 19 villagers graduated. I wonder how many people are educated versus aren't. And I wonder, are our barrels starting to wear out? We've got another group of immigrants here. Now, something I only saw in the patch notes was apparently, if you denied immigrants coming into your town, they could attack you. Um, but apparently, apparently they've patched that out, or they will be. I've never wanted to deny them anyway, but I'm looking to get 300, so I'm totally fine. We've got capacity. Take them on. Take them on. There they go. Straight over to the storage building. Are they picking up something? Oh, they're getting their bas- Look at this. They all just got their baskets and their tools. Holy crap. Good for them. <laughs> Alright, well, while you're here, it's time to harvest. And load these bad boys up. Load this whole area up with as much of this as you can. Big shortage of bricks, even with the three buildings, still just like not enough. And obviously now the houses that are upgrading require bricks. I love this though, the two manor houses facing each other. Looks cool. Nice. So what are we up to uh, desirability wise? 85. So they're, oh, they're obviously good. 79, 77, 81. Needs to be 85 overall. Any up this way? Some of them are on 83, 80, 81. They have their statue, of course. I never actually zoomed in on it, but there it is. Looking good. They have the big garden out here as well. I do kind of like the, the garden being there. It's very, like, organic and natural looking, I think. And with the trees at the back, it kind of separates itself from that area. Alrighty. How are we doing for that farm? 1,500 to go. 
They're still cutting down some trees out there to make room for the road. And the fodder quality is 59%. Yeah, the quality goes down if they overlap each other. So that's also what's happening there. I wonder, do you... No, it doesn't seem like you get any more meat if the fodder quality was better. As long as they're healthy, it's all good. In this area, you can just see it's been deforested, essentially, ready for us to start pushing out. Butchering meat. I also built this area down here and never did anything with it. So let's just increase this. Tell them to get mining that stone that's around this area. As yeah, we're below 100 stone now. Damn, not a good year for traders. Really need stone and coal. Big time. Uh, need another charcoal kiln. building is on fire. It'll be okay. <laughs> the well is right there. They'll be fine. Alright, cool. I was just making sure the icons are turned on properly there. Alrighty. I'm just trying to think. Is there anything left to do? I don't know. I have my list. We have. I think we've got almost every building now, except for making furniture. Uh, we have our armory here as well now. So they're making hauberks and shields. Planks, pelts, coal, totally fine. Yeah, get cracking. I want I just want the garrison to have everything they need. So what have we got now? So for instance, Eslana has a crossbow, a heavy weapon, and a hauberk. So the best stuff we have is all kitted out on her. But hopefully a shield as well. It actually don't show it doesn't show it there, but it will show it here when you click into them when they get them. She's only 29. God damn. Look at the rate that we just Chopped all that down. Oh my god, no, not the cart! Oh my god, the cart's on fire. That'll be a hell of a loss. There's a hundred water on the cart. I don't want to move it because I feel like they might not. Okay, good. <laughs> I think it was just the building, but it felt like it was the. Hey, there's rats in there. Interesting if they got like burned out of it. So the shields, the hauberks, all that stuff should go in here. I'm tempting to have another one just over on the other side to make it look nice. Crops ready for assignment. Boom! The field is done. So the first thing we need to do then is just de-weed it. It's got 85% weeds. Um, the next year we'll do that. And then we can actually plant something. So I'll just say beans for now. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Change it eventually. Soil is actually really good already on it, which is nice. Um, we are obviously going to have to fence this or do something with it to prevent losing all of our crops. But it's not going to take a while. It's going to take a while before that's going to happen or be a problem. We'll just start extending this wall out this way. Good. So how many is that? Seven extra farmers. Seven extra farmers. Hopefully they haven't... There was a late harvest there. Looks like these things are planted. I'm not too worried about it. Villagers stricken with scurvy. So obviously we need apples and things like that. So they will actually start to get some stuff from this, even though it's very, very little. And then this one is very mature. So for tree maturity, 100% capacity. Excuse me, 50. Excuse me again, 57% for peaches. So that'll probably be in the next episode. More orchards and things like that. How's the coal down here? Soon that is going to be empty. 59 left. At least the deposit emptied is a workforce freed up in a way, so it's not so bad. But yeah, wood uh, wood industry is going to be the main thing we focus on for a long time. Um, 60, 60% 60 there. This one's ready to go as well. They get done at the same time now. Villager cured. Scurvy's gone. Great. And you had me worried for nothing. So the other thing I meant to do is go through these watchtowers and make sure there are two people on each one. There's only one at the moment. And they're going to be taking the crossbows and the other stuff too. I'll upgrade that one. That should be it. So that's all the defenses, all ready to go. Profession-wise, how are we doing? 32 laborers, six people currently building. And do we have defense, guards, and soldiers? So we've got 10 guards and 12 soldiers in total now. So 22 people are dedicated to the defense of this city or this prospering village. But I can't, I can't upgrade the wall anymore. We do not have the stone for it. And, oh my god, I totally forgot about this building. This, these guys were getting stowed. It's like completely tapped. They'll be doing nothing. 
sandbagging this whole time. Uh, I guess get them out there, get them chopping wood. But just put two people on it. Let them leave them on wood. So work camp here. Let's get them to do the same thing. Just two people. Just on wood. Alright, good. Alright, I think that's going to have to be pretty much it for this episode. There's not much else to do in terms of building and stuff. But it would be good to obviously get stone walls all around the place. We're tier 4 out of our minds. We have our first few manor houses. Totally unexpected as well. I didn't expect that. Obviously, we need to still make furniture if they want to keep people happy. And um, they've got their three types of food, actually. Look, they've got a little bit of bread, fish, meat, beans. I mean, that is a nice, tasty meal. With that, you can make a pretty good burrito, I reckon. You know, flatten out the bread, make it kind of a flatbread. Um, toss a herb or two in there. Why not? Herbs and spices. It's not quite spices, but you get the idea. Some smoked meat. Barbacoa, throw some beans in there, pinto beans. All, the, all we're missing really is rice, and we'd be laughing. We all are, I mean, I'd eat it. <laughs> and they've got soap to wipe their, uh, to, to wash their hands afterwards. You know, it's messy food. None of this, they don't need any cheese. No cheese in burritos. Get the hell out of my face with that. It's insulting. Can't put people on this yet. Oh, well, actually, because we have the building turned off. So we do have the two saw pits there, both upgraded. Cracking away on planks, looking good. Firewood has come back up now dramatically, which is great to see. Good. Crops lost to frost in mid-autumn. I mean, it happens, I suppose. 374 wheat? You kidding me? Frost? What is it? December? November, October, September? August. Late August? I mean, I, I guess so. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> oh, the cows are still out there. Um, let's bring them somewhere else. The hell over away from that area. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think of that. We're not going to be grazing there anymore anyway. So the problem of going in and out this area isn't an issue. Look at the deer. How many? How much deer? I mean, since we got rid of our hunter, it is just deer central out here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow. And they're pra practically just walking into the town. They just want it to die, basically. <laughs> Alright, food is still a little, you know, dangerously low. And it's going to be all to play for with the next trader that comes by. We ultimately are trying to find stone. And if we can purchase bricks, that'd be good too. We've got iron pl iron aplenty. We're making lots of great late game stuff. Everything's pretty good. But yeah, we're just short on stone. I knew that would happen. That's why we did purchase like a couple hundred even just in this episode. The walls are thirsty. They're stone hungry. But at least we have our one wall. Looks good. The side that's being attacked the most, and our most vulnerable side, ultimately, is now protected. So that's good. Uh, for a bit longer. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks again for all the support. As we reach our late game city now, looking starting to look real good. Really happy with how it came along. You guys had the right call with leaving Old Town the way it was. I was I was just worried that we wouldn't be able to get the houses to upgrade, but it looks totally fine. And the thing I haven't even mentioned really is that you or I think I maybe mentioned it a little bit, but you can upgrade these gardens. You know, you can make them better, increase desirability even further, and level things up. It would be good to get rid of completely um, shelters and homesteads and just have large homes and just have manors going forward. Um, so yeah, that'll be something I try to do. I'm just wondering as well. Manufacturing is making 200 gold. We're making 6 gold positive without um, considering anything else. That's so funny. We make 6 gold from manors. So manors are the only houses currently that are actually providing a net positive income. If you take away the manufacturing. Alright. Oh yeah, and still got to fix that um, scurvy problem. Did we build the, arb uh, the healer? We did. The apothecary. There it is. So they're making some medicine. Hopefully that helps <laughs> a little bit. Oh, cool. Oh my god, what a coincidence. Dr. Beekman, um, that's someone on Twitch, and it's an apothecary shop making medicine. What are the chances? Awesome. That's really cool. So that was someone on Twitch. The game keeps your names in the game, so it just saves like a big pool of it. That's such a coincidence. That's really cool to see. Dr. Beekman. All right. Anyways, as I said, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. 
Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing, and it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.